I start thinking about this idea of the South and the North and why do we always make the North the dominant thing. And then I saw a map that, that Idrisi, the first map maker of the world, was at Idrisi, was a Moroccan who did a world map and he put the South on the top and he put the North on the bottom. The European map makers actually took from his book, but they realized the significance of putting the south on the top, it put Africa over Europe. And so they actually flipped it over and made their maps with the north on the top. And interestingly enough, if you read in the book called The Venture of Islam, uh, Hodgson points this out, how he said it's so unfortunate that the Muslims don't recognize that they made the first maps and they put the south on the bottom and they should go back to putting the south on the bottom because it's a completely Eurocentric worldview that actually does not have historical foundation. And, and so we should make maps that have Africa right on the top and then Europe on the bottom. And we say, I'm going down to Europe and up to Africa, <laughs> right? So we have to say, I'm going up to Los Angeles and down to San Francisco because in Arabic, you actually do say the South is up. In fact, they call Southern Egypt Sa'id, which is upper Egypt. And northern Egypt is lower Egypt. <laughs> Go down to Egypt, right? And also in Libya, they, do, they say it as well. They say, We're going up south, we're going down to the ocean, which is in the north. So this is traditional cosmology. And don't think this is insignificant, the impact that seeing maps all your life with Africa on the bottom. Yeah. And then the other thing about a southern map, Nothing's over Arabia. That's another thing about it. Look at a southern map, because I have one that was printed in Australia, because the Australians caught on to this. And they started, they said, why should we be down under? <laughs> and so they just turned it right side up, right? And they, they made their maps. I have a map from uh, New Zealand, and it's really interesting to look at it. It actually puts things in a very interesting perspective. You start seeing things like how close Ireland is to Morocco, for instance, and how close G Germany is to England. You realize how strong the Germanic ties, because you don't get that sense when you see a north, northernly dominant map. So it's very interesting. شمس روحي وحي ربي جنتي وحياة قلبي فرحتي القرآن حبي نور دربي وأماني شمس روحي